Now from one tradition, Halloween, to another, apothecary stores, drug stores, if you will. This evening in Ray Miller's, Texas, Ray says the oldest drug store in Galveston may be open again soon. The Star Drug Store opened in Galveston in 1890 and moved to this building on Tremont Street in 1906. The Tremont Hotel was across the street then, and this was the heart of downtown Galveston. The old Tremont Hotel is gone, many other landmarks are gone or changed. The Star Drug Store closed in 1982 after witnessing many historic comings and goings. The lunch counter here was one of the first places black students visited when they started a campaign in 1960 to integrate eating places. The leader of that campaign was Kelton Sams. Actually, Ray, my initial experience with the Star Drug Store was passing by as a kid and just looking in and seeing all of the people gathered around the, the coffee bar here. And uh, that was the, the first experience I had with the place long before we thought about uh, uh, sit-in movement or integrating it or anything of that nature. Kelton Sams is in contracting and real estate in Houston now. He was in Central High School in Galveston when he was leading the sit-ins. The lunch counters just closed the first few times the black students showed up. But Kelton Sam says he doesn't remember any unpleasant incidents. The police provided an escort for us from one store to the next store uh, throughout the entire experience. They were very polite and helpful. Uh, almost no bad experiences, Ray, to speak of. Galveston's black and white leaders decided after a few weeks of sit-ins that the lunch counter should be integrated. Nobody told the students, and they weren't prepared the first time a lunch counter operator said yes to their request for service. <laughs> Nobody had any money. <laughs> in all honesty, there was no real sense of history at that time because we were caught up in the midst of this and not knowing exactly what was going to happen next. The Star Drug Store has some new owners now, and they're considering what they ought to do with the place. I think it's an excellent idea to restore it. And that's pretty much what new owners Bill Cherry and Kenny Shelton think, too. Our objective is to take the uh, drug store and put it back to where is ex the exact replication of the memory in everyone's mind in Galveston. We hope that it will become a catalyst to bring people back into the downtown area. You think you might come back? Oh, sure. I'd be happy to come back. Sure. Kelton Sam's probably is one reason why Galveston was one place where the civil rights fight was always civil. This is Texas, and I'm Ray Miller.